dimension. A dimension not only inhabited by freaks and geeks, but also a dwarf named Carlos. A journey to the gumdrop house on the whose boundaries depend on your own mental health. Lots of signposts up ahead. Pay me what you owe me. Life always has a little bit of everything for every one of us. Some nice surprises, tragic losses, new allies, betrayals. We all wish we could go back and change some of the mistakes we've made in our lives. But what happens when the man who's been given that opportunity is a sociopathic kleptomaniac good for nothing moron. Dude, honestly, he never comes out of his room. I haven't seen him for like six months. I don't even remember what his face looks like. Ha! Huh. He doesn't even come out to go to the bathroom? No, I'd imagine that's what all the buckets are for. Ah, I bet he's dead. Nah, he uses growls to communicate. Growls? Randall, you're not talking about our wedding present, are you? Relax, honey, we're talking about his roommate. Yeah, plus it looks like my present won't be able to growl anyway. Science is still pretty far from being able to create a rapping pig. I'll have to think of something else, man. Don't worry, dude, it's the thought that counts. Guys, I don't want any scenes at my wedding. Is that asking too much? Scenes? What do you mean by scenes? You know exactly what I mean. We've been friends for a long time now, and I know what your idea of an unforgettable experience is. Like what? When I gave that carload of nuns directions to a lesbian bar? <laughs> that was quite unforgettable. It was, and I'd be lying if I said it wasn't funny, but I'm telling you, I don't want any kind of weird stuff at my wedding. It's gonna be the most important day of my life, and I don't want you guys to ruin it. Well, it's your call, but everybody knows Matt can be really romantic when he wants to. Everybody? How come I don't then? Oh, come on, Sally. I tell you I love you almost every day. I'm super romantic. Yeah, sure. Do you mean when you belch it or when you say it in binary code? No, he means when he belches it in binary code. Matt always gives it his all. You can tell by the way he almost gags when he's doing it. Oh, by the way... Where are you going on your honeymoon? Well, I think Italy would be really romantic. The Big Ben, Eiffel Tower, the Pantheon. I just love to go there. Oh, Sally, I told you all that stuff is in Germany. Libya is still my top choice. I'm dying to see the pyramids. So, are you guys going to live in Matt's place? Yep. Well, that was the plan, but I'm already looking for a new place. What? You want to move out? Come on, my mother just got us the Stovomatic 9000. I don't get it. it... What are we drinking again? Uh, some kind of beer, I think. Yeah, something like that. I miss the grog era. Those were the days. You bet. I'm going to the restroom. Can you get us two more beers when you're done, honey? More booze? That way you'll look even hotter. Just promise me you won't puke this time. Hey, come on. You can't promise that. Sally, if we're getting married, you have to trust me. Besides, I don't like puking anymore. I feel scammed because, you know, I pay for the stuff that comes out of me. Okay, it's just that, you know, I thought we'd be doing something more romantic to celebrate our engagement. You know what would be really romantic? Let me guess. Another round? Sally, how could you know me so well? Dude! Check this out! It's the engagement ring I got for Sally! What do you think? Sure looks expensive. Well, it's your money. That 
That's just the best part. It cost me a Dorito. That is impossible, Matt. You stole it, you can tell me. Sometimes I take stuff that's not mine, too. I know, everybody knows. But I didn't steal it, dude. I got it from a bum that lives around my neighborhood. Then I think he likes you. It was really weird. The guy was all out of his mind. He was going on and on about how this ring ruined his life, that it was cursed, that it would destroy the world. <laughs> Maybe that was a metaphor. Dude, you just gave him some Doritos and he gave you a ring? Yeah, I think he likes you. Come on, Randall. The point is that I took it to a guy who told me that it's 780.563 karat gold. And somehow it's sapphire, ruby, diamond, and emerald plated. It also cuts glass, jumpstarts cars. Really? May I hold it? Dude, you're my best friend. That's why you're here. But I'll never let this ring near those kleptomaniac paws of yours. You'll never forgive me for the robo-calculator incident, right? We were just kids. No, I don't want anyone touching this ring. Whatever. I'm sure she'll love it. Looks nice. Nice? Nice? This ring is better than nice. It's the most fantastic, wondrous ring in the world. The more I look at it, the more I want to keep it for myself. What are you going to keep for yourself? The, uh, a uh, puke, sweetie. No throwing up today. Oh, well, here we go, guys. Last round. Garbage everywhere as far as the eye can see. And it's not a problem that it is literally starting to stink. I'm afraid something will attack me if I go near his door. I really think he's dead. No, dude, I told you. He uses growls to communicate. Guys, we're supposed to be celebrating our engagement. Why are we talking about Randall's roommate again? Shh, don't worry about it, honey. That freak is dead. Where are you getting married? I really love St. Gilbert's Catholic Church, but Matt heard there's a three-headed monkey buried in the catacombs. Now it gives me the creeps. Really? I can't think about anything else. <laughs> you remind me of a couple of alcoholic hamsters I had when we were in school. They had a very long life. Remember, Matt? I just hope we don't end up like those poor rodents. Dude, don't make me feel bad about that. <laughs> I don't even know how they got in the oven. I guess they were dazed and confused from all the stress and alcohol. May, May they rest in peace. <laughs> I think I drank enough for today. What? Honey, you should stop, too. Me? Why? Matt, I don't like it when each of your eyes is looking off in a different direction at the same time. Really? I love that. <laughs> Seriously, Matt, that's enough for today. I'm okay. He's okay. Oh, great. Randall, can you go check on him? I don't want him ruining another pair of my shoes. Sure. The stale, pukey air in here is starting to give me a headache. I could use some fresh, pukey air. <laughs> I just hope he slows down on the alcohol after the wedding. Oh, I'm sure after a month or two of marriage bliss, he'll move on to something stronger. I don't know, heroin, meth. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> classic Matt. Hey, Matt! Should I grab Father Roy to perform an exorcism? 
You seem to have a little projectile vomiting going on. <laughs> Well, at least you don't throw up lying on your back anymore. Well, I'm a grown-up now. I can't remember what we used to call that one. Can you believe it? Wait, I think I got it. Bacon Golem. You're not even close. Ah, dude, damn it. What was it? Vesuvius Matt. Vesuvius Matt stops people in their tracks. That's it. <laughs> Look, Matt, I love to spend my entire paycheck on booze just like the next guy. But you might want to show a little self-control, huh? I know, dude. Life's taught me a valuable lesson today. Really? What's that? You should always check for homeless people behind the dumpster before you start puking. Dude, you know what I think about you drinking that much. I know, dude, that a party's not a party till Matt Griffin starts puking it up. Exactly. But I'm kind of worried about you, you know? You don't even chew your food anymore. I think I just saw a whole nugget. You know? I saw this documentary about pigeons the other day and the way they're ahead of us. They just gulp everything down and let their stomachs do the rest. Well, they also hang out on telephone wires and shit on people's heads. You gonna do that too? <laughs> um, how pissed is Sally? Come on, she just cares about you. Me, on the other hand, all I do is watch you laugh in the face of death every day. And believe me, death is the one who really must be pissed at you. Okay, I think I'm done here. Wanna hug it out? Negative. My religion forbids me from hugging the possessed. Yeah, I know how you roll. One, no hugs. Two, no sharing. Three, no talking to strangers. And you forgot the most important one. No altering the space-time continuum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The Suvius Matt is up and about again. Follow me, Randall, and don't lose me, cause this night's gonna be legendary. Um, Matt, you dropped... Did you hear that, Randall? I think it's arrived. Hurry up! Hey, honey! I'm feeling much better now. Excellent. Now you can explain to me what the hell this woman is doing here with that animal at my wedding shower. Yeah, um, now listen, sweetie, um... Matt, please, not now. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to announce that the donkey has arrived. Let the magic commence. <laughs>